When a bee flies out of a hive for the first time, they have to orientate themselves. They look at the sun, so when they return they know where to go, where they belong. Over the last few years I've had to orientate myself. I'm dyslexic. I've had to find different ways to learn. When I was 12, one of the teachers at school noticed I loved nature and being outside, so she told me about beekeeping. I asked for a beehive for Christmas that year. I was so excited to collect my first lot of honey. I researched everything I could about bees. Watching videos, I learned to catch swarms by hand. Mum and Dad helped me buy more hives. I'm 14 now. I have about 45 hives around Marupna and Shepparton. I sell the honey and the honeycomb. Since becoming a beekeeper, I've paid more attention to the trees and the weather. How much rain there'll be, when the trees are flowering, if there'll be enough nectar and pollen for the hive to survive. If the hive is weak, you have to feed the bees sugar water. In the middle of summer, I had to go to the supermarket every fortnight for sugar. I got so many packets, I filled an entire trolley. Because the bees need food. Bees pollinate everything. Without them, we would have nothing. We don't just need bees for honey. We need bees for our food, for our trees. Beekeeping is what I want to do. I might struggle writing long essays, but I know how to keep hundreds of thousands of bees alive.